my name is priyanchu today we are here for the lab one experiment to observe the motion of an object that is moving at a constant velocity we use we capture a video and we put it into tracker to extract the object's position and match it with the video creating a computational model based on physics concepts that accurately reflect the findings Con so we'll go over the introduction preview environment and surroundings initial condition the interesting what if and what does it mean question predicted and the experiment results and we'll wrap it up the final results so please have a look at this video this basically shows newton's first law which means every object will remain at rest or in uniform motion until and unless there is an external force applied on it so if there is no force there is no acceleration and the object is at constant velocity so this basically go, goes over newton's first law at if an object at rest or at constant velocity has no net force it will continue its own state this is the distance time graph which shows a negative a uh, slope negative and a constant slope a constant slope means that we have a constant velocity and negative slope means we have like a negative velocity because the object is going in the negative x direction the velocity of the object is negative 87.3 cm per second this is the environmental detail details environment and surroundings in this can object it has wheels on the bottom and glide on the rails i have i have crowded out the pushing part because uh, if when we push uh, we apply force force alters velocity and so that part does not count i have also taken the length of the object which is 15 cm as a calibration stick the initial conditions are that the object at that x is equal to 79.53 cm and moves in the negative x direction this is the distance time table which shows that the object's initial position is 79.53 while its uh, final position is negative 52.25 cm Th this basically tells this slide basically tells that we have a negative constant velocity moving on to the interesting questions if the axes are flip the sign of displacement velocity and the acceleration changes because they are vector quantities what does it mean question in the case we observe all the pushes and pulls added together r may or may not be zero so in our case when we are pushing the object there is obviously friction and acceleration in general until and unless we know the magnitude of these two forces we won't be able to tell uh, that uh, there is if there is zero force applied on the on the object or not errors may occur due to friction air resistance and there may also be calibration errors so in the predicted results we predicted that the object will have a perfectly constant velocity but in our system we cannot have it because of friction and air resistance we also assume that we have a point object while in reality we had a big object but newton's first law was correct in both of them this is the solution please pause the video to see it these are the final results the initial position was 79. 93 cm at the final position was minus 52.25 the time was 1.5 cm and using the velocity given the displacement by time formula we get the velocity is 87. negative 87.3 cm per second and uh, that pretty much wraps up the conclusions have a nice day